Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to the Tuesday, March 26, 2024 crosswords. Go for that 1488 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Tuesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Grad, rope, acid, din, row, uh, robed. Typed that wrong there. Students celebrating in the late spring. Yep, grad indeed. So we've got a spring theme. Grad, croci, robin are all sort of spring themed. It is when did spring start? A couple days ago. Grads are robed too. Uh, yeah. All right, a little mini theme. Now for the main event. That's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Laura Dershowitz and Catherine Baker today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does a great New York Times game subscription. We still got Joel Fagliano editing these puzzles. Wishing you well, Will Shorts. Anyway, let's see what uh, Laura Dershowitz and Catherine Baker have in store for us. Let's get into it. Get moving. Haul from the Yiddish. Country that adopted the Euro in 2023. Indignation. Praiseful poems. Those are odes. Blank and the real girl. Don't know it. Contactless number is tell. Apt rhyme for lewd is crude. Less than stellar sound quality. Is it mono? French kings are quoise. Many times oft. Regimen of healthful meals. Okay. Your all starter is HTTP. DIY genre is how to. Phoenix basketball team is the Suns. Force a game into extra innings. Uh, tie something, or before hole or holder, pot holder, pot holder, and then a pillow maybe. Something sweet here. This is lo-fi. Auditing Orgas IRS. Or wanted people are the Tutsi people. Tie it up here. Get a look at it. it's a spy and a pig's pad is a sty. Many millennia could be eons. Kid lit character who tells his ailing friend today you look very green even for a frog. Uh, toad? Focus of a geologist or music reviewer. The sports blank. Don't know. Oh, sports bra? This is Siri. When will you be here? ETA? Emerges from a seed. Sprouts. I'm okay as sure. Be long stocking for one. This is Croatia. So this is ages. This is base. 60 minuti is an aura in Italian. Diet plan. Eddie East Rulers and Amir. Marriage ceremony for the perfect guy. What's the revealer here? Kind of fallacious argument, or phonetically a hint to the answer to the start clues. Ad hominem. They're EMTs. Your competitor's iOS. A ho ho is an alternative to a Twinkie. This is a right. Made level, evened, loaded down a lazy river, be tubed, reputation, fourth letter of bomb, but not the first, silent B. Entre nous, Cheesecake Factory has an enormous menu. Reputation is stature. Student with a private teacher is a 2T, painting style with abrupt transitions of color. Okay, rump is ba. Fairy tale monsters, not ogres for once. Mother Superior. App Customer is a user. Gold coded is guilt. Giants here. Teensy. This is Sui Generis. Exam with capital E. An eye test, I see. Simplifies as a fraction is reduces. Blank manner is bedside manner here. You nab a criminal. Techie or Trekkie might be a nerd. Uh this is a eon it's well like this band okay and it was toad limiting factor for a car rental this is ogre we do have ogre uh mr right right 
This is age, Marissa Tomei. Uh, I'm kind of pigtail tail, okay. Being reduplicative. Hotel suite suite. Uh, second to none, none. I see. This is Scoot Outrage Schlep. Uh, plural. Interesting. Hard Edge. Level is Story. Whoops. Cobbles up is just Eats. Alright. Kind of a slow Tuesday. I like to do a lot more talking than usual. Phonetically. I see. Huh. Okay, I get it. So an ad hominem argument. This one's sort of where you attack the person, not the argument. But this is saying to add a homonym. So basically, uh, you know, each of the answers is sort of a normal answer where you've added a homonym. It's a hotel suite, that's a normal answer. Once you've added a homonym, you get hotel suite, suite. Um, I see. So this is a hint to the answers. Yeah, so it's not telling us to add a homonym. What it's saying is that a homonym has, has been added. To, I mean, but... It, here's my slight nitpick here. This answer is just the answer to this clue. So nowhere is pigtail being clued, right? This is tail added with an added homonym to tail. But we don't ever see the adding, you know? But I get it, like, you want the answer to make sense, some amount of sense after you've added the homonym and you want to clue the homonym, the added part, you want to clue the whole thing. Uh, because you need to clue the whole thing, but Therefore, this very clever revealer doesn't quite describe what's happening, but I will allow it because it is a very clever revealer to think that an ad hominem argument means to add homonyms. Second to none, none. Okay. I think the, uh, I think the revealer is sufficiently clever that I'm not going to nitpick it. Very nice. Nice idea. Nice idea. Let's uh, let's look through this puzzle. Let's see if we can learn something. We've got this several clue echoes, starting with one across and two across. Get moving and to get something moving. Lars and the real girl. I haven't seen it. I feel like I've seen some of my friends post Instagram pics from the sports bra. Which is like, you know, a pun on sports bar. Uh, or maybe I just heard about it online. I don't think I've been to uh, Portland since it opened, certainly. Not a hit, but a miss. Pro for the Pirates. Not really. These question mark clues. There needs to be. I mean, is it supposed to be like a Pittsburgh Pirates misdirect? This is the water closet. I think most Yiddish words are kind of fun. The ones that have entered our common vernacular. Hard clue on Croatia. Or clone plural also. Like very far from the first thing or second thing or third thing I would think of with that clue. Okay, I knew that was toad. Didn't know about hard edge as a painting style. Hard edge painting. 
Loris or Feitelson. Yeah, I mean it's the it's the it's an apt name. I just didn't know about it. We got the ogre and giants clue echo. Shout out to ogre. And I like the clue on eye test actually because what is it called? It's it has a name. That's some kind of chart. This chart has a name. Snellen chart. The Snellen chart. So there's a big E. So that's a nice clue there. I never really like these silent letter fill. It just feels like this just adds 26 things to your word list. Um, you know, I guess I just don't like uh, things that aren't constrained somehow. Not as not as many uh, clue echoes as I felt when I was solving it. But nice, it's a nice theme. It's a nice theme. It's a pretty slow Tuesday for me, but I don't think I doubt it played slow for lots of people. Twenty percent slower. Okay, maybe it's playing a bit hard. A bit hard for a Tuesday. I don't think that's a problem. Uh, you know. I kind of wish the New York Times would, would go a bit harder on all days, just toughen up all the days a little bit, as long as they do it consistently. I think that would be a, a good thing. You do want to be able to sort of compare over time, but anyway, let's uh, let's move on and do some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph Plus Word. Here's your spoiler alert for the Plus Word. If you'd like to play along, there's a link in the description below. Plus Word is free to play. The British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end, offered by the Telegraph. Rugged or tenacious. Late. Phantom of the Opera, that one I know. Heart of a shoe above a soul above the soul. Learn. That's to glean. Steer as a as a boat or a ship. This is Apple here. Drive off is repel. Aspire is to dream. Threads or stories. Yarns. This is helms, and this is just tough. So we've got, it's not allowed. Um, so what is it? Let me just make sure the downs are right. Looks pretty good. There's an A here. Uh, audio. Just audio there. Feeling quite sleepy today, but still some more puzzles to do and some more work to do afterward also. So uh, let's move on to the code words. Here's your spoiler alert. It's not free to play, unfortunately. It's free to watch me play it though. And could this be an E? Or could be an A or something? This word is very, very interesting. Hmm. This seems like a vowel. This also seems like a vowel. What could it be? I'm a bit confused. I see Guy Jin, but it seems unlikely. All right, let's see if we can find something that looks like it might be an E. This could be. This also could be. Well, this also could be, honestly. This is a vowel, I think.
This is common. To me, this looked most like an E. But I wouldn't stake my life on it. Uh, let's try it though. It really cuts down the possibilities here. <clears throat> definitely seems possible. <sighs> like, what is this, an I? An O? You? A. Uh, like this. Having a, having a lot of trouble seeing it. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. This word here is definitely the, the key to it all. And it ends, has all fairly common letters. So what is it? Uh, could be an E, I guess. An A. An o or an I. Does this look any better? Let this one be a T. Or an S. Like an L or something. Not really sure what I'm looking for at the moment. This is quite common also. Seems also like a vowel, if we're being honest, this seems like it's a consonant. I just don't see what this word is. This? So it's not necessarily right, but I'm just trying to put put in the vowels. Uh, this is not a vowel. This is, this seems like a vowel. It's not right, but okay. Maybe the, maybe this is an O. And this is an I or a U. Could this be a Q? I guess it could be.
see a cur. This is looking horrible though. Uh, getting a phone call here. Alright, I'm back. Just had to take a phone call there. Uh, back here. This is a pretty compelling cue, I think. But this looks like way too many C's. Uh, this also doesn't look very good. It's like a double letter. So maybe something like a null is laundry. What is this? An oh, no, lawn? Delt. That actually doesn't look the worst though, does it? I guess I, I don't know what this is. Syntax. This, this doesn't look too bad. This looks like it's gotta be an I. What is this? Juvenilia? Uplifting? This is glitz. Okay, keys. This is warmth. This is. What is Gujan? What is Neroli? This is. Orchard, alright, that's good. Or herbage. Herbage. Wow, okay, that was. That was impossible because what the heck is Gujan? And Neroli, and Juvenilia. What a horrible s seed location in this puzzle. So I assume Juvenilia is. Uh, I assume Juvenilia is paraphernalia for juveniles. Gujan is a strip of meat. Wow, that's a deep cut. Stuff associated with youth, juvenilia. Works produced by an author and artist while still young, Neroli. Wow, okay. Well, nine minute code words tough. Sorry to make you all sit through that. Let's take a look at code words regular. <laughs> See if it's a bit nicer to us. I think this looks like an E, but what do I know these days? Uh, bitter, maybe? Could be butter also? some more vowels. I want to say Baroque. Could be batter also. Uh, this seems like it's usually okay. I think this is bark. Over C, that's what that was, okay. Scotch, perchance? Hassle? Haggle? Sugary, okay. Uh, Smith's Twiglet. Unamusing, okay. Kneeler, Berry. Red wing cadenza. Okay, trip wires. Expel an X rays. That's a tough X there. All right, that was more of an average code words. Wow, tough time today. Tough time today. This the seed letters here were so rough. You know, I'm coping here, but Pujan crossing Juvenilia crossing Neroli.
High pans, that's kind of boat, I think. No, it's kind of snake. Look, there's a disevacuation page. It is... There are some, some boats. There are some boats, okay. I mean, probably named after the snake, but... Alright, after that long, painful process, let's, uh... We could do connections. Is there something else we can do? We could do I'm Squeezy. Just try to... Try to do something quick. Let's see, what is this? Augment? No, one tile won't be used. Slang, surely. Duress. Mantis. Tamper. Nutmeg. Okay, runes and bilge. Got nutmeg there. It's hard not to see chocolate, but it's not chocolate. Uh, one tile won't be used yet again. Uh, Neocon? Neocon. There's just not enough vowels. Uh, brunt. Control, I guess. Belays. Brother. Goodly. Blasted. So we've got nutmeg and control. Okay, one world. At least one word needs multiple tiles. It's oftentimes useful to think about where the multiple... I mean, the the multiple letter tiles could possibly go. This could be drives. It might not be though. It seems like it could be shoot. Research looks good to me. Uh, well, this doesn't look that good. Uh, I see. Solved is probably this. Observer. Dibs and Bray. Nutmeg, Control, and Observer. Be like a soccer thing. I don't know. What's the theme? Ground nutmeg, ground control, ground observer. All right. Didn't figure out the connection there. Doesn't bode well for the connections puzzle. Where we try to make four groups of four, we always end on. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Ace, clipper, move, medicine, faster, prompter, rocket, speed, go, spur, commute, hurry, rate, vision, clip, pacer. So I did see the NBA teams. Got both pacer and pace, but pace, clip, rate, and speed all seem related. Faster, hurry, move, and go. Teleprompter, telemedicine, television, telecommute. Gotta think that's the hard one. Then maybe it's the NBA teams. That's right. Then maybe it's go move hurry faster that seems harder to me than the synonyms for space i mean for pace all right there we go got them all 
at least we can solve the connections there. So rough, rough puzzle day, I think, but uh, always a good day when you can figure out all four connections. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Just realized Momo Chu over there has fallen over, but we'll fix that later. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.